finally. Ate. <laughs> it's going to come. <laughs> yeah, you see right now it's sparkling clean. Okay. Uh -uh. From your side. <laughs> okay. What's up my amazing people, Shalukusha is my name and once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the returning subscribers and in case you're new here, please consider subscribing for more amazing content. So guys, I'm actually coming live from our home. Our home is right here and today I think I'm very excited. You see the way you'd struggle with something for months and you don't give up. That's us today. I'm really happy for Lynette and I. Like we've really struggled with our well and finally we got some water. So in the meantime, I'm just we are just trying to hurry up, go to the market and buy some pipes so we can pump the water out. So follow us guys. And we also have a very big surprise inside here. I'm going to show you as the video continues. So stick here to the end. Yeah, so guys we are on the road, we are with my uncles here and we are going to oh Musibi <laughs> faster faster and then we come back we are going to get the pipes this is how we are heading to the market yeah, our home is just like 200 meters from the main road and this is the tarmac uh, so guys this is our shopping center it's called Kagio so this is where we usually come to for our market eh? Yeah, but today is not a market day, and this is where we are coming to buy our our pipes. Yeah, you see, like they even sell the machines. Like these are the kind of machines that I'm having to pump water. Yeah, so this is the pipe that you need. We just need like uh, one inch. Yeah, and they have different types of <laughs> pumps here. Yeah, we have like this one for grandma. <laughs> yeah, at our home. Yeah, so. We need around 90 feet. 90 feet is close to 30 meters. So just right now our well is around 84, 85 feet. Yeah. So we hope that will be enough. Hmm? Hey, no, no, no. So, now you Oh, 30 meters. Okay. So, so. Hey, Murad, you wanna make the cana? Yes, Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm asking if they are measuring with eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you know the good thing about plumbing, just buy like it better be in excess rather than having a deficit. You know, also the pipe, you know, it also has some head up, like from where the well is, like down here. We also have a spot where like it's going up the tank that stores water. So we need, we also need to consider that, guys. Yeah. Our uh, pipe is here, so it's time to go home. Yeah. So we are finally back, guys, and we are about to fix the machine here. We are just trying to tie everything up right now. Yeah, and we have our pipe there. Yeah, and you can see some reflection from down there. I'm not sure if it's visible, the little reflection. But it's because the well is very deep. I told you it's around 80 five feet eh? yeah so let's see how everything goes yeah and you know rain has been trying to come like <laughs> we always say it teases us eh? like maybe some drizzles for like 10 minutes at night and maybe you think maybe when you sleep you'll wake up like when there is rain <laughs> but no problem we are working on having our own water so we don't struggle as much yeah. <laughs> oh no yeah so so one roll eh? <laughs> yeah we have to unroll it Hey, it looks like a spiral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whole of it has to go in the well. Hey. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to see like this. Okay, well, but when it gets in, it usually straightens itself. Eh? Yeah, as time goes. Yeah, let me try to. Yeah, I think it's straightening. Eh? Yeah. Eh, we are the ones who are straightening it. Eh? Yeah, just want to make it straight. Eh? Oh, eh? yeah, we have to rotate it like this. Yeah, yeah you can imagine. Look at the hip that that came from the well. It's close to a lorry. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to use this stone somewhere in our well. And just like that, now it's straight. Yeah, you can see from 
all the way there so it will get into the well like that and you just have to clip it there guys and you know my daughter really loves <laughs> kittens eh? yeah so we bought these ones for her yesterday yeah she's she's really in love with it <laughs> yeah, and i think pets are so good she really loves pets yeah, i'm also like a kitty and also a rabbit i think the next i'm gonna get some rabbits so in the meantime guys you see what i have right here what i'm going to use as a plate yeah. this is just like uh uh how do i call it <laughs> the top for a bucket yeah now our kitty is really following us closely i don't know why yeah so guys here comes the <laughs> so here comes the surprise we bought some new pigeons yesterday at night actually yesterday was a market day you know we lost the others that we had and here i think i really tried on the selection of colors i don't know if i let me know what you guys think so we have like two brown ones and each of them here we have a male and a female and i think i really love the plain white you see like, these ones here <laughs> yeah they are really good so we are just going this is the first day and let me show you guys with one of them let me try to catch one let me catch this one Anita, kuja unisaidie. Nishikie hii. Yeah. Let me catch one of it, guys. So, we have this one, eh? And you see, eh, it's really it's really trying hard to fight. <laughs> yeah, so this one, you see the feathers here? Yeah, they have they are all of them are tied with a a silo tape. Yeah, so in the meantime, we are not going to open the feathers. And I'm really wondering if about our Kitty because it's actually following us <laughs> yeah so i think we're just going to release them here on the outside oh anita let's give them food first yeah mother chakula yeah we're just going to pour. i think the I, I i think this kitty is almost becoming notorious eh? i hope it's not going to chase our birds but you know very soon they'll get used to each other it's no it's going far hey we have to test with one of it <laughs> because i can see like it's already it's already finding a way to escape okay yeah but they are going to get used you see it can't fly yeah that's the reason why we tie the feathers yeah but i'm just going to make sure we return them closer to our home I think it's very easy to catch it. Eh? Yeah, it's very easy to catch it. <laughs> you see, like it's really struggling to to fly. So we're just going to teach them. Yeah, the same way. But we're not going to open their feathers. Eh? We're just going to let them out for for a few hours eh? as we monitor them. And then maybe when they and then later in the evening we're going to return them to the house. Yeah, and slowly, slowly they are going to get used. I hope they don't get lost like the one that we just lost they were two of them <laughs> okay let's wait and see yeah so guys i'm just trying to see how this pigeon is going to behave you know i don't want to open for the you know i just released one of it and you know they work as a pair so i think we're just going to release them outside and see how if they are going to couple you know i was also taught yesterday by the by the seller like when they walk as a couple and maybe you get them used to your home when they lay the eggs there's no way they're going to disappear from your home so i'm not going to untie the feathers until they all of them get used to 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 our home so maybe let's open the rest and see how everything is going to work <laughs> let me see and you see the rice is just here let me just draw a little bit so they know what they're going to maybe when they see it on the outside they are going to feed on it eh? i think we need to find a stone and place here remember i'm just a small stone hey, watch it, yeah? <laughs> a smaller one yeah just lift it okay that way it's better yeah. No, so they can come out anytime they want because you see even for the one that you just released like it's still there 
Yeah, so we're just going to move away from that spot and maybe I think we should also add some Oh, okay <laughs> Yeah, all of them are out Hey, that one has flown up to the other side I think it has some momentum from the <laughs> I think it has some momentum from the uh, from the house. I think I have to get it from our garden. I need a kuja to ishike. Hey, this one is really not. I remember this one was a male. So I have. Yeah, let me. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> I think the chicken. You know, you see the chicken want to fight the manita. Okay. <laughs> just managed to catch it so I wanted it to be on the other side of our home yeah you see the others are still there hey guys today we will struggle with them <laughs> but it's because it's the first day we're just going to get them used now it can go to their friends <sighs> guys I'm breathing heavily <laughs> we've been playing you know when it crosses here it will be very hard for it to come back yeah. I think the thing that I'm gonna do, I'm going to spread food all over our home so they'll they'll get used to it. So you know I'm just going to draw food all over our home guys. Yeah, so they'll just be walking around and get used to this compound here. Hey this one here is notorious guys. And I think we need to to work on our gate. You see like we have very big spaces there. <laughs> But it's okay, we are slowly going to get used to this. Yeah, I think they are not even seeing the rice. But I'm just going to spread it all over so they'll be busy. Yeah, just around this place. And I hope they'll not be fighting with our chicken. You know guys, I guess we, had, we don't have so much experience with the pigeons. Yeah, but slowly, slowly we are going to get used to them. Yeah, just like that. Now I think it's spread all over. You see like the white... White, white patches, the small, small patches. Eh? Yeah, this is where I was pouring it from, and then I'm gonna place some here. Yeah, let me just place it here. Yeah, I think maybe they are going to get too sweet. And think, and then let me just have this one right here. Yeah, and then add some water. You know they love swimming. I think I need to wash it. I can't imagine the hassle that we'll have to go through in the evening to make sure they return back to to their to their house. Yeah, but guys, we are learning, so let's see how it goes. This is our gate, guys. Yeah, we usually close it on top there. You know, I just came on the outside to assess. So this is where the dogs have been passing through, and these dogs has, have really disturbed me, guys. Yeah, I'm slowly taking you guys to the well. Yeah, because yeah, they're slowly trying to fix the machine as they work on it as the day goes. Yeah, you know, hey, the dogs are very notorious. Yeah, this place we had just covered it. Yeah. Wow. Hope God is going to provide and we're going to install a perimeter wall. Uh, you know, this one here, when it gets burnt so much by the sun, it's slowly going to degrade over time. Yeah, it's not long term. Here comes the moment you know i'm really grateful for my uncles who have been digging uh the well guys you know i don't know how much i can say like uh, they have really helped me to a very big extent i don't know we usually owe each other close to 150 dollars and i've never had at any moment eh, this one wants to sting me eh? i've never had them at any moment asking me for money though they have families they they know maybe when times are hard we're going to get money as well and pay them so they always come here without any complaints without anything i've been so determined actually i've asked so many people and they usually tell me like uh if there were different people who are digging the well for you and they meet such kind of stones they will just have to disappear because here they are not digging so many foot per day that you're going to pay them a lot of money yeah like those the other different people who would want a place where they are digging only the soil <laughs> yeah but here We've been having so many stones, guys, and I think I'm really grateful and I thank God for bringing my uncles to, 
to let me say to our life because they've really been of help i wouldn't say i don't know who someone who can dig for you a well when you owe each other close to 150 dollars close to 20,000 kenya shillings and imagine there is no way they're coming to ask you oh, do you have money today like the little that they get is what i usually pay them because they know so well this well has really costed me so for me from my end i think I'm really grateful and for those who have been watching my videos they know the struggle that we've been through digging our well it's been so let me say overwhelming and sometimes we even thought of giving up but we thank you so guys thank you so much guys for always encouraging us and just like that we've been able to get to other guys and today you know I thought of surprising them with something <laughs> yeah it's not much it's actually food <laughs> yeah so in the meantime I know they really love this eh? yeah even though I know they will love it so this one i removed it in the freezer our freezer is right there and i'm really grateful for the subscriber who made this possible imagine guys that's just a surprise i always thank god for the little wins that she brings to our lives yeah this is the freezer here i just covered it in the morning yeah after removing this one here you know we don't want to overuse electricity so you know <laughs> uh, you know this one so i'll just let it uh remove the how do i call it you know right now it's very hard so and then today <laughs> this one here the oven today i'm going to freeze to fry it is it called I'll, i'm going to drill and my electrician is calling hello hey hey nyaroka no answer any computer the more eh sawa Yeah, so guys, today we are going to drill, to grill it. Eh? Yeah, our oven is right here, and everything is set. So I'm just going to prepare the meat and dip it inside here. And today we are going to enjoy, guys. You don't know how happy I am. You know, you don't know how much we've waited for the water here in our well. We've really struggled with the well, but we thank God for everything. Yeah, we are still struggling with the fixing. Oh, Nessie, take it, eh? Oh, so this one is the sanction. Yeah, that's the sanction. Yeah, and this one is the head up. Eh? This is the one that's gonna take the water from the well down there. Yeah, up to the tank that's up there. Yeah, on the end is usually called the land return. This actually helps close the. Like when the motor is not pumping water, it helps trap water in the pipe. You know, this pipe needs to have some water for this machine here to be able to. Wow pump water from the well yes yeah so i'm having the meat here i'm going to try and prepare it here <laughs> i don't know how how good i can make it tastier but let me first spread it and see how everything goes hey good leg guys <laughs> you can look at the massive size eh? yeah and i actually took the one that's in it that uh has some fat you know fat usually helps the meat uh like cook well yeah, that's how it looks and we have another one here yeah. yeah and then i'm just going to squeeze in some more lemon on it yeah I hope my meat is not that thick. Yeah. Like two lemons will be enough because the meat is also very big. Guys, this is not a cooking video. I'm going to take you like I wanted to show you the well, but this is part of the well because this is for the guys who are digging the well. <laughs> Yeah, my ank was the last one. I'm just going to squeeze it here. And just like that. And then it's just going to sprinkle some salt on top. Let me just... Like this. You know, on the inside is where sometimes you don't the salt doesn't get in so I just I hope I don't overdo the salt yeah. I think 
I have the white there left. It's okay, I'm just doing what I know, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think that's okay. Now I'm just going to bring the aluminium for you. Ah, yeah. Let me wrap it. It's okay now. I hope the soap will not pass. Anita? Yes? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to preheat it for around 10 minutes because that's what I know. Yeah. Let me see. For like, yeah. Uh, maximum maximum and then the heat that comes from the top guys i don't remember the last time i because uh, mm, i think yeah they want the fire that will be coming from the top this one is for the cake like the one that comes up and down but this one you're going to cook with this one <laughs> and then we have to put uh yeah we start you know you see like it has light up so we're just going by 12 10 i'm going to insert my meat so here guys what you're actually trying to do you see this water here this is what actually came from the well like when you just uh take this bucket down there like the jerry can down there it actually fetches water so what you're trying to do the, the this machine is going to pump water out of the well so like it can be empty you know when it's empty they are going to see now where they are going to deepen you know the well whoa <laughs> it is almost getting into the well Wow, it almost got into the well. It is very risky. <laughs> so what you're trying to do to so that they will see where they are digging. Yeah, that's the sole reason why we are going to install the machine. Now the machine will be pumping the water out as they try to widen. You know that space where the water came out? They have to widen it and deepen. So like the volume will be quite big. Just like that, it's okay now. And it's super hot. Yes, let me just put it here on the top. Come back here. I, it there. I don't know if I should be cooking from the top, yeah, but I think on the top it's just okay. <laughs> don't worry, guys, I'm going to I'm learning. Yeah, there it's okay now. You see in the tap, and then you're just going to give it like a. Let me see the time. Ah, this one is around 225. We set it at 225 degrees. Yeah, for 45 or 60 minutes. The next time. But I'm going, you know, I also have to come and turn it. So let's wait and see. Neko being a kidamon, eh? Yeah, the man, the has to be pushed down. Yes, I'm also trying to work on the wire. Yeah. Anita, Nishke, yeah, hold the camera. <laughs> You know the wire is for the power supply to the to the machine to the motor. Hey, easy, the figure. Like this wire should be very tight. So this wire is very long. So 
Don must pull. You see? Where are you? I'm not going to be. 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 You know the suction pipe should hit the bottom. Eh? Yeah, the good thing I've loved about this well, guys, it doesn't have soil, so like the machine will not block. You know, like uh, the water has to be sucked from down okay, there. Okay. 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 Baby guys, today I'm going to show you a video clip of what's happening on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to get down there with you. But not me, you're going with the camera. <laughs> yes, Just trying to fill in some water in the pipe so it can help it push the water upwards. Yeah, I can't wait to see for the to see the final result. <laughs> yeah, you see, I have so many connections down here. So this is the one that the the rope that takes him down there. This is a head up. Like this is the pipe that takes the water up. This is the wire for the motor. That's the pipe for the blower, like the one that blows in oxygen, and that's the wire for the bulb. You can imagine. <laughs> and this is the rope that's tying the machine, like it's suspending the machine. Yeah. Let's wait for the water together. You can wait for it like this. <laughs> Let's wait and see if it comes out. Same to check our meat guys eh? and these are the silicone pot holders because this, I was given this by my mom guys kindly go support my mom at elegant underscore kitchen see if you are in Kenya <laughs> okay so let's check our meat I actually you see like it's close to two hours eh? well, like what I did is I just lowered the temperature to around uh, 60 after some time eh? so I just let it cook slowly yeah for long Hey, and some soup guys hey. Hey, I can't imagine imagine all this one all the soup let's open it and see guys wow me it's it's actually let me see yeah it has cooked so well guys now I want it to be softer extra soft. So I just want to have it here, yeah, and then I just pour some soup in this bowl here. Uh. <laughs> well, that's the whole soup from the aluminium foil. And let me just place it there. Let me just add some soup here. Yeah, I want it to be extra soft. And then, don't worry, guys. I'm I am not a professional meat meat <laughs> meat griller. Okay, I'm just doing the little that I know from the little knowledge that I have, and from what I have. Hey, this one is so big. Yeah, like that. I know that way it will cook faster. like that now it's gonna cook perfectly yeah guys there you go guys <laughs> yeah so you can see like uh, hey, it has produced a lot of soup 
and I think right now it's uh, it's well cooked you can see the glow right now so let me just place it here <laughs> let me see we are going to carry it like this I'm just going to place it here I think it will pour a lot of soap but it will just be okay it's very hot cheers guys what do you think <laughs> i think i can be a good roaster okay yeah that's the whole look of the roast meat guys <laughs> yeah today i think i tried eh? so let's go and serve i'm telling them they have already started and you have the meat here yes, Guys, we always eat from here. So I'll just cut cut it. What? Never saw. Hey, today they are saying we are going to peel. I don't know how to cut meat guys, but I'll just try my best. Now it is already hmm. I wish I had a panga to just cut this one. Yeah, that is it guys. How does it look from your side? <laughs> okay. We're still enjoying our meat here. <laughs> hey. Today we are really enjoying. Yeah. Today we must get water. But the fact that you already have the water, the only thing remaining is to pump it. Yeah, and it's very soft. Everyone mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. means it's good. Yeah. Eh, isn't it to the peak? They are called flossy tooth peaks. These ones here. Oh. Yeah, those yeah. ones. Yeah, they are called flossy tooth peaks. <laughs> okay, Marisa, who could I use the tooth peaks? Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, welcome to the party. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are enjoying here. Okay, Anita. And I will let us have a copy to cope. I'm telling Anita to bring a plate. Yeah. Hey, guys, we are really enjoying. These are pumpkin leaves harvested from our farm. Samugali and the roast uh, goat leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let when we finish. Yes, and we also brought the soup that came, you know, they said you want Razima to kunya zote. Yeah, we have to eat everything, even the soup. Yeah. Yeah, we are almost done, guys. We are really enjoying and having fun. Yeah, you know they say like soup, <laughs> soup helps. Oh, we are calling Yeah, like soup, they usually helps clean up your respiratory system. Yeah. Okay. Nekaringi, uh, <laughs> like it's entering. <laughs> That's what you say. Yeah, it's entering or it's laughing. It all depends. Some will say it's delicious, but to us, it's entering. Oh. I don't know if there's a problem with the machine or what. You should produce a lot of sound, but this one is so slow. Maybe it's damaged already. Yeah, guys, we've spent close to the whole day here. You know, since morning, we've been trying to test the machine. We've been having so many struggles. I don't know if the problem with the machine, but I don't know why, because it's not pumping water out. But let's give it some more trials and see because it's been down here for like like we've drawn it down for like four times right now yeah we've even opted to try here you see here i even want to try to see if it will suck from here uh, and see you know guys you have to assess our machine and see where the problem comes in because you see the white thing here it's actually called the capacitor this one right here yeah, you see it's uh, turning very hot and when you try to touch here it's very hot so i guess we need to 
maybe take it to a fundi so that they can confirm if everything is okay because even from the way it's sounding it's not the way it should sound i don't know where the problem came in because the last time we pumped with it at my grandma it worked but now on our turn it's not working so that was good news but you have to <laughs> to see see what happened but we hope everything will be okay we will continue pushing until we see the first drop coming out of that pipe there we closed it and then we take it to the we take our machine to the fund and see how everything goes by the end of the day Yeah, guys, right now we are in Kerugwea town and this is where we have come to repair our machine. Yeah. It's here. Yeah, and this tarmac, yeah, they are really doing some good job here. Yeah, so this is where we are coming to check our machine. Yeah, you see like many of them here, this is where they do the repair. Koradi Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tekoru. You see, like even the food is saying it's hot. Nimoto, see you? Imagine if you travel for like 25 minutes and it's still hot. I find. 
Yeah, let's wait and see what the fundi will say. Okay, You see, like they have different machines here. Like this one, they are fixing. Is it between and Winding. Winding. Windings. Yeah. Okay, even for this one, that's quite big. <laughs> okay, help powers won't need this. Yeah, like many of them. Yeah, like this one. Okay. Let's see what the problem with the power is. Eh? Yeah, now we have opened it officially. Eh? And I think it's it's almost getting stuck. Eh? Nino is something in a coma coma? I think in a pump. Side oh. pump in a pump. Oh. Yeah, it's clogged. Oh, I think it's the side for the pump that is clogged. But we are going to see. Yeah, let's give him time to assess. Yeah, eh? yeah it's overheated. Oh, yeah, it has overheated. This one. Yeah. Oh. So, the clogging. Yeah, the clogging. Oh, so this thing should be able to rotate freely, Ama? Yes. Because it's it still be, hot till this moment. Should be free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, okay, these ones have been cut off. Means like it was very hot. Yeah, but it's okay. We are on the fundi, so <laughs> he's going to check everything and see. Yeah, I think. Okay, I think every machine is prone to. <laughs> damage yeah but it's all good you have to bring them to technicians to check fundi umeona shida kubwa kabisa ni gani kwa hii kitu hii shida kubwa eh ilikuwa clogging clogging ndio tushamalizana nayo it is free okay for so this one was not moving initially it was not moving initially they are clogged as we had said earlier Oh. I hope it will not repeat again. <laughs> okay. You're saying it's also rusted? Yes. Are they rusted so fast? I'm a man kawaida. Kawaida because of the water. Oh. So the So that's how you should be working. Should be rotated things like Oh, so initially it was not rotating? It was humming instead. Oh, it was jamming. Okay. Humming. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like that. So at least we know it's fixed. Yeah, let's, let's hope it's gonna work and we are not going to have the challenge again and again. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, so just like that. Our machine is okay. Yeah, so time to go back home. But it's actually very late in the evening. It's around 5.19 p.m. <laughs> so we are not going to go and fix it right now. Guys, it's a bright morning and we are here. I think today we are going to get the water now. We are just trying to add some water here to boost. I can hear the sound. Hey, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming now. Hey! <laughs> hey, finally, finally we got it. Yeah. Let's see how long we have. It's going to pump and you see it's very clean. Yeah. <laughs> finally! <laughs> Because uh, Anita is happy. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> He's saying like it, the water has really made them tired. He has to drink it. Yeah, I, I don't know how long it's gonna take that before it ends, but it's a lot of water. <laughs> it's really pulling. It. Eh? Oh, pressure! I know you there. Yeah, the pressure for this machine is quite low. Hey guys, today I'm even I've even tried to take shower. <laughs> <laughs> they are washing yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me feel it. Ay, 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 it's very cold. Ah. 
guys. Ah, last is it. Today. Ayah. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nah. Tarik 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 Enough for you, Shayata yeah, Kabisa. Yeah, this is the water we're talking about, guys. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, just like that. The machine is off now. Yeah, now we'll continue digging the well. You know, we're still trying to fetch some water. Yeah, the one that's pouring, like from the well. We are just trying to save, to minimize. You know, the water we have on the tank is not much. That tank there, and you know, we always borrow. So, it's okay when we have it from here before it gets that you know when they get on the inside this color is going to come <laughs> yeah you see right now it's sparkling clean eh? and it's going on it's, the pressure is not like uh, the same it changes over time slowly slowly yeah. hey, at least you know anita is trying to wash some shoes here so at least <laughs> fresh water yeah at least it will help for now so guys, I hope we can get on the inside and see what's happening. Eh? Don't remember the last time we got on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a blower here to blow in some oxygen. This well has a lot of water. You can imagine we've been pumping water for the last like, uh, let me say, 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, like when you just pause for like five or ten, five minutes. You see, like it's like it continues running again and again and again. It's not stopping. So, well, I hope you know they have to remove all the water, as I told you guys, so they can be able to see where they are digging. Yeah. Hey, at least right now it has depleted. Yeah, we've been waiting because it's around 10 a.m. in the morning, and they came here around 8:30 a.m. So we've just been waiting. Eh, okay. Ah, <laughs> ¿Qué <laughs> 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 Hey, my mother, my 
Yeah, this is the water guys and you know instead of of it pouring just down here yeah, i'm going to pour it in the house and this has been pouring it yeah okay. the problems of entering an incomplete house but we are really grateful so we usually pour water here yeah to just minimize the dust yeah just like that Wow, and that's our bathroom. And even though our house is, even though you have a bathroom, it's usually very hard to. So you usually have to clean the bathroom each and every, each and every day. <laughs> yeah, that's how it looks, guys. We've been pouring water. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and it's another day, guys, and our pigeons are already used to our home. <laughs> yeah, let me go and show you guys where they are camping. Yeah. Yeah, you see they are here well used to our home right now and this is where they've been swimming right here yeah so that is it <laughs> yeah, you know right now i'll be coming to water our plants yeah so we want to redirect the water to our sugar canes here you know they've been overflowing on the fence oh, and he wants to make a corner and this pipe here has to be filled with some soil yeah so like it doesn't burn up <laughs> there's a lot of wind hope it's gonna light up let me show you how guys we 
make a corner the African way, like a corner, a corner for a pipe. Now these are the pipes that we're using when we are installing the electricity. Yeah, it has light up right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's calling on the inside. Yeah. Just bounce it up a little bit, then. See, slowly burning up, then starts to bend it slowly. <laughs> yeah, just like that. You see, it's slowly bending, yeah, like that, bending it slowly, slowly, so it doesn't close up. It's done, Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Now, removes the soil. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, this water is very like he's he's saying like the water. The water is not uh like it's not getting out all of it, so he's gonna struggle through it eh? so until you get enough volume of water. Hey, you never know how excited I am. <laughs> and so maybe in the meantime, I can just take this one to our yeah. Now we need a lot of water here. Yeah, even for a driverless farm. I don't remember the last time we watered them because we've been having a very big challenge with water, guys. You know, when you're borrowing water, you don't keep on borrowing each and every day. Even the giver can get tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is how we are having. You see, we installed these poles. Yeah, so these poles here, this fence that's down here, is going to make it climb on the fence maybe let me go and show you how he's doing it on the garden the pigeons are running away <laughs> yeah let me welcome to our home guys <laughs> i think today my smile is all over i'm very excited i don't know how long i've been waiting for this we've been taking a while for the last three months yeah and it has really costed us a lot but i'm really grateful for my uncles each and every day for and even for the subscribers who came through for us and assisted us more so let me say you know mama v was the one who started the like we had started doing the well we reached like 20 feet and we stopped and mama v sent us some money we started digging the well although it was not enough have been struggling with it till this moment we are really grateful for all the subscribers who came through for us during the well really grateful i know i can't mention all of you <laughs> so in the meantime guys eh, you see even our passion fruits have started changing the color like it's been so hectic here yeah? yeah so the fence looks like this on this side yeah like that then it climbs so well on this part here Wow. Maybe when our fence grows up, we're going to talk with my neighbor and we we'll consider whose fence will, is going to remain. Because right now we are, we are all fighting on one space like to see whose fence is going to work best. That, but this one is not a good fence. <laughs> yeah, even, even them, they, you know. So this is how it's working. So this is the poles. Yeah, so you know this place here has a wall and there's no way we are going to to make the flowers climb on the wall so we stole these binding wires so just like this yeah you see how well they are tied to just redirect them yeah like this so they'll just grow so well as they reach the binding wires wow this is so cool and i love how perfectly he does it like he's very professional in his work the way he's doing it oh it's growing up so good Wow. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's done with this side now. He's going on the other side of the house. Hey, look at how Amaranth is doing, guys. Eh? Yeah, they are growing so big. So we'll just give them some more time to grow before we start harvesting them. Yeah, you see, guys, our land is so dry. But hope when you get water, it's going to be revived because it's been a very big challenge. 
Yeah, we don't want to borrow water, you know. <laughs> you know, we borrow water. The same water we water the garden is the same water that uh, we are using on our home. So it's very hard. Sometimes you see, like, you're asking for water each and every day, but I'm really grateful for my neighbor. He's been so helpful. The entire, like, the whole house, he has really helped us with water. Like, I can't thank him enough. You can imagine all this house, guys, being helped with water. And you know, he was doing it contrary to their rules the water that they have it has some rules like you don't have to you don't give it out and when they see you giving it out <laughs> there's a fight but that is it guys you have to help your neighbor yeah so let me continue watering our fence and maybe i should be able to go on the on the kitchen side guys Oh, he wants to try and see if it's gonna work. Oh, that's the corner that you just made. Yeah, it will go, I think. Oh, that's the corner that you just made. Hey, like, imagine guys, this is the amount of water that's coming out and it's not getting depleted. So, this is how he's gonna dig the whole day <laughs> with the water just overflowing. You can imagine the flow, you can imagine the happiness. <laughs> yeah, so he wants to water to come here on our sugar canes and maybe our fence. This is the first round of stones that you're removing from the well right now. Yeah. Yeah. You see? yeah, like this guy. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you go over Oh, and you see, for such kind of a stone, because it's heavy and it can come out, he has to tie it like this and uh, attach it to the rope there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like the second batch right now. Yeah. Uh, this is where we had the last batch of stones. Hey! <laughs> yeah, like that. They are very wet. Do you remember the last time we were getting. Stones and we are saying, oh, they are wet, they are wet. Now they are wet from their, ca they are coming from the water. <laughs> yeah, today it's like I'm digging the well with them. I'm gonna stay here until I see everything. Maybe how everything goes by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah this is the one that goes to the our flowers eh? on the uh, front side of our home. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, the water is a lot. Like even this water is not enough to pump all of it out. Yeah, <laughs> it's not enough, Cindy. Mm, <laughs> hey, but let's hope it's gonna help in a way. Yeah, you can imagine. Like he's saying, the overflow there is very high. Yeah, you can imagine pumping water all through to, but it's still not depleting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this guy. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can Oh, and yeah. you see, for such kind of a stone, because it's heavy and it can come out, he has to tie it like this and uh, attach it to the rope there. Yeah. yeah. This is like the second batch right now. Yeah, this is where we had the last batch of stones. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like that. They are very wet. You remember the last time we were getting stones and we were saying, oh, they are wet, they are wet. Now they are wet from their, ca they are coming from the water. <laughs> Yeah, today it's like I'm digging the well with them. I'm gonna stay here until I see everything. Maybe how everything goes by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah this is the one that goes to the our flowers eh? on the uh, front side of our home. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, the water is a lot. Like even this water is not enough to pump all of it out. Yeah. <laughs> It's not enough, Cindy. Mm, <laughs> hey, but let's hope it's gonna help in a way. Yeah, you can imagine, like he's saying, the overflow there is very high. Yeah, you can imagine pumping water all through to, but it's still not depleting. Yeah. <laughs> it has blown up here, guys. Eh? 
Yeah, I'll just let it flow, 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 flow. <laughs> yeah, because you have a lot of it right now and it's very dirty and there's no way you're going to use this. So I just let it overflow here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right now. Yeah, right now it's flowing well. No one can take a pill. Yeah, I'm going Yeah, he's saying <laughs> God has really blessed us, but it's because he never gave up. Hey, no one can take a pill. Yeah, I'm going to take a pill. Yeah, I'm going to take a pill. Yeah, because the roots are even up to here, so I'll just let it here flow. Hey, no one can take a pill. No one can take a pill. Uko chini kuko aje? Kuko ni sawa. Kuko sawa? Kuko sawa. Akuitaji kuchimba tena? Ah, pana. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Sasa ni kuflika. Eh? Naweka kwa tanga. Aya. Like he says like the water level is enough. Now the only remaining part is just uh, taking this pipe up the tank there because we've been pumping water from uh, let me say like 9:30, 8:30 a.m. in the morning and right now sai nani akona simu? Isanga pi? It's around, uh, I think, 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, like guys, I want to show you guys the time, so we'll be sure. Yeah, this mm. is 1.13. One yeah, 1.13. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's 1.13 p.m. in the afternoon. That's close to 5 or 6 hours. Just pumping water without depletion and that's how you achieve the desired water level <laughs> yeah you can like it's uh, it's cleaning up it's decanting so fast yeah? yeah you see this one is already clean because i've already shown you how i was watering my our garden so i think just like that we are done digging our well you can imagine we've really struggled but here we are ah sasa imeisha hivyo tu sasa kesho like he says tomorrow the only remaining thing will be covering this space We'll need like two bags of cement and some metals and a door to cover this spot here. You know, we have a kit, we have chicken, we have pigeons, we have our baby and we don't want any mess happening around here. Yeah, so that's how everything happens on the inside. Maybe the only remaining thing will be to maybe do a very good setup on how these pipes will be staying, how this one go up there and maybe <laughs> we'll see what we'll do with the pulley. Wow. What a good end. <laughs> I know so most of you who have been following our the process of digging our well know how we've really come far to just achieve this. Eh? Even getting water and seeing it flow up that tank is just something amazing. Eh? I think it's about time we have our lunch and then we end the video. Like the second lunch in the same video. You can imagine. <laughs> Oh, so he's saying like after it's been pumped for two days, like it will be super clean. <laughs> and you know, in the village, you don't fear the kind of water they drink. You see, like he's even drinking the water. <laughs> hey, but I love the fact that it's decanting so fast. I think it's because it doesn't have any contact with the soil. Nasasa eh? ikikauka, maji ikosa kutoka sai. What I'm told, and Rodi at the day, get in your back, boy. Okay, they according to his explanation, he says like down there looks like uh, there is a stream, like the way water is passing. Yeah, like water is just passing in there, like mm -hmm. like let's say starting here just flows all the way there. So that's why the water might not rise up, but there is no way it's going to deplete. Yeah, that's why it's been pumping for close to six hours right now without even seizing. Yeah, that's a good amount of water. <laughs> I think I'm give, I'm going to give it until evening, just flowing here and see how everything happens by the end of the day. Maybe that will be an. I will be satisfied that the volume of water is just reliable from that. You know, you have just tried to connect a little bit of this pipe here. You see it there? And then we have tried to connect it up to... Ah, it's already there. Can you think one? Yeah. Yeah, it's already up. You can hear the noises. Hey! <laughs> yeah, finally it has gone up. 
Yeah, it's there. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> hey, no, at least I'll use water from my own well. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> so tomorrow, after we cover this place, we're going to buy another one like this. And then we get everything done. I know mine. And my neighbor, I just called my neighbor. I told him, like, we have water. Hey, he's celebrating because he's really struggled with this. <laughs> Yeah, I hope he's also going to. By the way, he's telling us like they are going next. They are going to dig as well. That's amazing. Yeah, you can hear it flowing, guys. Can you hear the noises? Yes, it's now flowing. It was actually almost empty. <laughs> I'll wait until we see the overflow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. Yeah, guys, I think I'm really excited and I want to take this chance, special chance to thank everyone who has uh, uh, taken part in helping us financially, uh, encouraging us through digging our well. I'm really grateful and I appreciate you so much, even the joy we have. I can't imagine the joy that Lynette will have in her eyes when she comes and finds water. That will be really, really amazing. I'm really grateful. God bless you all. I won't mention you with your names because there are many of you, but God bless you all abundantly. You know how you took a chance in holding our hands. We're really grateful. We couldn't have done this alone. It has taken us close to three months. You can imagine guys digging each and every day. And thank you so much. Hope the remaining part will be <laughs> work on repaying now the guest clause to maybe one thirty dollars right now. Yeah, we'll be grateful. Uh, but in this moment, I want to thank God for everything. Yeah, just trust in God in everything you do. Keep pushing and uh, never give up on anything you've started. You never know how long it's gonna take. But no matter how long it takes, you know, like eventually it's gonna come to pass, guys. It's it's coming through. So long as you don't give up, be persistent in everything you do. Let me have some lunch. Guys, I'll be ending my video here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really grateful. I appreciate each one of you. And in case you're watching and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, guys, for more amazing content. I love you so much, guys. I appreciate you. God bless you a million times. You are really amazing to us. I'm really grateful for the well. And I always say, guys, the reason we do such kind of videos is to encourage people. You know, there are so many people that give up on anything they've started, but the fact remains when you continue persisting and keep pushing through it, you'll eventually achieve it. Eh? No matter what you'll pass through, just be persistent and you're gonna achieve whatever you've been wishing for as time goes. So, thank you so much, guys. I love you. I wanna tell you guys, bye bye. <music>